What's crack a -like? it's your boy Brush Mode, just in case you did not know so. And we're back again, once again, this time we're taking a look at the Chiefs. We're going to take a look at their free agents, their cap space, their cap situation, what they may do or probably not do in free agency, and then come up with a draft strategy and do a mock draft for them. But go ahead, become a bro and subscribe. Leave that thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Any and all. All support is much appreciated, much obliged, and go ahead and uh, leave a comment. Really helps the video out a ton, so it's, uh, again, I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into the diggity gosh darn thing. I'm actually recording this today because I was sick all Wednesday. Uh, my kid was sick uh, Monday, Tuesday, and I got sick all up on Wednesday. So a lot of recording and uh, catching up I got to do. But uh, you'll see Code Bro Schmo every Monday. Uh, we do a live stream where I mock against my viewers. Uh, that's going to become more frequent as the draft gets closer. But we use Walk the Mock. It's a mock draft simulator that lets you draft with other users in real time. If that's something you're interested in, you got to get their premium membership. But that Code Bro Schmo, literally, use Code Bro Schmo, all caps, uppercase, Gets you 20% off, so go ahead and do that. Let's do the thing, right? So they released some guys today, right? Mitchell Schwartz, which is wild. Cold-blooded, dude. Guys just had back surgery. Cold-blooded Chiefs. Uh, but they also got rid of Eric Fisher, which really isn't a surprise. He was kind of a big cap hit. Uh, which leads me to believe, because currently they're right, what, uh, about $3 million above the cap currently? So, uh, I think that's if they cut Damian Williams, which I think is very likely, very possible. Uh, the running back, of course. Mike Renner's not coming back, so you literally have no tackles. I know Lucas Nain comes back, but he was kind of viewed as a project, a developmental guy with some big upside. So, you're not going to start that guy immediately after he opted out. So, he has literally... No experience. Pro experience. But, I mean, I really don't know what they do in terms of who they can bring back. I mean, it'd be nice to bring Tra uh, Traverius Ward back. He actually played pretty solid. Uh, can they do that? that? That's yet to be seen. I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot of this is going to be what they do through the draft, and they might sign a lot of one-year deals. So, uh, I mean... Like, if I'm targeting anybody, it would probably be Ward. Uh, maybe Mike Pinnell. I think those are cheap uh, cheap guys you could bring back that played particularly well last year. But like I said, this is with the Damian Williams cut, but they really can't cut anyone else. I mean, Tyree Matthew? Tyree Matthew? I don't know, man. Honey Badger? He would free up literally a ton of space. That might be a move they're willing to do. Uh, again, just throwing possibilities out there. But like Tyreek Hill would free up cap space. But let's be honest, you don't do that. Uh, Nandi, uh, I I think this one likely th this could happen because Warton was pretty good last year. Yeah, I mean, that's still, you're still above, see, and then significant drop-off. I mean, what are you going to do? It'll be interesting. They get, probably need to restructure something. I don't know. We'll see, but let's get to the draft. Let's talk about what we're going to do, all right? So, I believe, I fully believe William Gay will be a starter next year. He played exceptionally well. He's better than Damian uh, Wilson. And Anthony Hitchens, but they're paying Anthony Hitchens a lot of money, so I imagine he will be a starter next year. So Willie Gay will start next to him opposed to Wilson. Uh, let's see. Uh, safety. I think safety. They love running three safeties on the field. Uh, I think we could target safety maybe early, day one or day two. Because uh, I Sorsen, he's... He's a free agent, but he was probably the worst among them with Matthew and uh, Juan Thornhill. So, 
we'll probably 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 try to get a safety early since they run they typically run three safeties on the field a ton like i said i hope they bring ward back i think sneed's gonna see a lot more snaps so Braylon leaving ain't that big of a hurt uh i like fenton still i think he's relatively solid so like a secondary is fine just safety is such vi so vital to this team they have to get one, another one uh i would like to get pass rush on the outside like frank uh, if you think frank clark is good then you only watch the playoffs i'm just gonna say that uh it would be nice for someone other than chris jones having to get pass rush i know mike dana looked pretty good at parts last year but i i still don't mind adding competition out of talent obviously offensive line huge you just released both star and tackles you're losing your guy mike remmers who was the third tackle on your roster i know you got lucas naim but you probably need to bring in another just saying that might be our first round pick because there's gonna be a lot of ones uh, a lot of good ones available uh we could improve the interior they do get guys back from hop out maybe center center is kind of vital because they're gonna lose their starting center from last year uh Ritter? writer something like that yeah because i know he's a free agent uh and kilgore actually so both their uh both their centers are free agents so i would like to address the offensive line a ton here i am allowed to accept one trade i cannot seek it out but if one is offered to me i can take it so trade downs total total uh possibility here let's take a look at what we're working with first second third fourth fourth two fourths two fists no late round that's fine all right so uh yeah i guess let's uh do the gosh diggity darn thing here we go a lot of time till our pick it's really we're just picking from scraps at this point that's not necessarily true all right so i'm i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm not really looking for a trade up and that's expensive trade up and I mean, what would I be training up for? I could get these two guys late. There, okay, I'm I'm really 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 sick. Oh my gosh, those are a lot of picks. Oh my gosh, those are a lot of picks. Oh my gosh, those are a lot of picks. Um, I guess Washington has the best offer here. I mean, you could make a case for the Jags. What? It's... No, no, no. Well, it's a third in the following year. Uh, But I'm drafted for this season right now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm taking this Redskin or uh, pff, Washington trade. Uh, I mean, I know that means we're drafting exceptionally late, but ah, uh, do I? Because then we dropped a 51. Then we have another second rounder. This draft is deep. Yeah, screw that. I'm taking that. We're trading out of the first round. Sorry, can't take any more trades. All right, let's see how this sucker goes. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of open to everybody. Look at everyone asking for trades because I have all these draft picks now. So we are kind of gone best available. That was a bonkers trade we got from Washington. What did they trade up for? All right, here comes our first pick. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, man. Merrig is great value here. I don't get why they don't view the safeties that highly in this class. Uh, and honestly, with our last pick, I'm probably gonna eye, um, like a Carmen or a Hudson. Uh, Mayfield will probably go off the board in the next couple of picks because I'm gonna switch the boards up here. 
Um, but I am. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, new soul will probably be gone. He, he'll be gone much earlier. I need to re revamp my rankings a bit. Yeah, let's um, let's just go ahead and grab the safety. It's great value. Oh, everybody and their mom wants to trade with me. Oh, jeez, dude. I feel like the most popular kid in school right now. This is great. <laughs> no, I won't go to the prom with you. This let me get to my pick. Oh, let me get to my pick. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna switch back to my board so I kind of know what good value there is. Oh. All right, yeah, because we're not gonna be picking for a little bit uh, till the end of the third, so I'm probably gonna grab one of these guys. Carmen's more pro ready, and I think Lucas Nain's gonna start on the right side. At least that's what I heard before he decided to opt out. So Carmen has, I mean, both have, have, um, uh, exper both have experience on a left tackle, but Carmen's a much more, he, he, he's closer to start like Hudson. The reason he's so high is like, he needs time to develop. Like he is a bit raw, but golly gee, he's got a huge upside. Carmen could start now and like he would help so much in the run game too because he's just big dude's a big oh let me switch this back over before I make this pick all right so that was basically like a I mean Merrig is a first rounder in my book Carmen end of the first or end of the second it's not bad all right I need I need a I need a tissue, dude. My nose is running like a monster. Oh. Here comes that next pick. All right. Oh, man. These safeties fall, fall, fall. Tylen Wallace is still around. That's wild. I, I could see him going in a second. Uh, he's pretty hard not like to pass up at this point. Um, hold on. Let me go back. Wiley, a free agent? No, it's just the both centers. Oh, no, there he is. Okay. Um, because he was our starting right guard. Gosh, dude, yeah, we might literally need to go just go in on offensive line. What a predicament. I mean, Tylen Wallace is such good value. Such good value. Quinn Miners, there's our s potential center. I mean, I don't mind. The dude's super athletic. I mean, it's kind of sucky that we would take him over Ben Cleveland at this point, but... I would love to get a guy like Osa, but can't. Uh, take Allen wouldn't be a bad pick here. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. We're literally going to pass on Ben Cleveland. Awesome. Awesome pick to get. Uh, I mean, I like Quinn and Miners, so don't get me wrong. This is Quinn and Miners, by the way. If you didn't know, now you know. Uh, I mean, a guy like Drake Jackson's fine at center. But I could say the same thing about like Jack Anderson, who has a kind of experience being in um, an offense that spread like spreads the field quite a bit. So yeah, just well, who are the best available? Man, Yami Brown would be fun too. I might call it audible here. I mean, Deami, bro. Ugh. 
No, 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 that's a luxury pick. They can't make luxury picks. Oh. I was like, who's texting me? Um, yeah, I think Ben Cleveland, you just can't pass on. Yeah, screw that, dude. Let's go Quinn and Miners. All right, Quinn and Miners, man. That's our center, dude. That's our center. Oh, well, to be fair, he'll... Senior Bowl was the first time he took snaps at center. But he looked all right. That may have been a mistake. Now that I'm ta saying it out loud, Quinn and Miners, like... That was his first time taking snaps at center. Maybe Drake Jackson would have been a better pick later on. Well, if we could still get a guy like um, Jack Anderson, I'm fine. You know, Brown's still here. Alright, hold on, because I'm going to have to switch the boards after this. Yeah, I think if you don't take edge early, you're kind of just saying, ah, well, screw it. And I feel like that's kind of what we did. Jack Anderson's still on the board. We do have a pick coming up, but De'Ami Brown's just too, too good to pass up. I think that's where I'm going. Yeah. It's not even a need, dude. It's a luxury. It just does so much vertically for this squad. Uh, I think we do get Anderson, though. Uh, Zadarius so Hutcherson's a bit interesting. He has a bit experience at tackle, too, but I'd rather him at guard. He's a lot more athletic than Jack Anderson. Jack Anderson is just powerful. But I still think we go Jack Anderson. Man, I got Jack Anderson about a fourth, fifth rounder. He's a guy I've been high on for like a couple of years now. All right, let's go back to my board. We got Jamie and Sherwood, who's... Probably could play uh, safety. Or, my bad, linebacker. Um, Let's see. Like, what am I looking for at this point? I mean, I would love edge. It's just Chris Rumpf can't play like his size on the line of scrimmage. Oh, I do love Bradley Keene. Uh, yeah, I just don't think there's an edge talent at this point that's that's worth it. The interior, Bobby Brown, he's got some sick upside. Corner, if we want to add more depth. Like, honestly, Wild Goose isn't a bad pick here either. Um, I mean, are we going to continue to add to our line? It's not a bad idea with guys coming off the board. Uh, next pick happens at 77. Maybe Zadarius Hutcherson is there, which I want mind because I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up going with um, Wild Goose just because he's got good athletic profile uh, to be a press band corner. I don't mind grabbing more depth here in the later round, so yeah. I got him closer to a fifth rounder just because he doesn't have experience as a press man corner, except for in the slot. It was like, I don't know, 70 snaps doing it. Come on, Zedarius. Or Sedarius. Come on, Sedarius. Oh, there he goes. Son of a gun. They did me dirty. They did me dirty. All right. Uh, let's see. 
I I mean I think we've we've done a pretty darn good job. Uh, yeah, the tackle class kind of drops off at this point. Let's just switch to the other board. They'll show more, but I mean none of these guys I'm that high on. I'm Royce Newman's been an interesting name popping up. Uh, Trey Hill has experience at center. Which means we can move him to guard. I mean, depth isn't a bad thing. Granted, it's rookie depth. Uh, who do they say are the top guys on their board? Yeah, I got both those guys as like seventh rounders. Oh, Griffin, I'm, I'm kind of warming up to. Yeah, but he, he's he's probably better in his own cover, like zone heavy scheme. Uh, Avery Thomas, but he's more of a seventh. I do not really think highly of this uh, this board here. Let's see. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I I, I really like the idea of just continuing to invest on the interior, just to have depth. Uh, Janaris Robinson, he kind of fits Spagnola, big guy with length. I mean, he, he's semi-athletic. Like, he's not going to, like, knock your socks off, but, like, it's not like he's bad. Uh, like, Patrick Jones, though. Hmm. Kane Dow, they, Kane Dow, but he's so developmental at this point. Uh, that's not what he's weighing in is, is it? Oh, jeez. But, I mean, dude, his length is ridiculous. Like, I like Patrick Johnson. I keep saying Jones, I know. Uh, just because he's just so, like, uh, like, dude is, like, a CrossFit monster. He's a combine warrior. Yeah, I like him with this pick. Where do they have them? Okay, so not too far off. It's about the same range. Some people really like Demi Kinji. I just think at best he's a solid player. Like, I don't think there's a lot of upside to him, to his game. Some people will disagree, and hey, dude, you're entitled to that nice, juicy opinion. Uh, I like what we've done here. This is Quentin Miners. They just didn't have him at the time when I made my rankings. Uh, Deami Brown. There's no way Deami Brown. 124. That's just such good value. See, and I've been switching between the predictive board and my board to kind of make it like a like it seem more realistic in my aspect. That way, they're drafting. I'm. It's not only drafting guys that I'm high on, but it's also drafting guys that the other board is high on. So it's supposed to be this nice, gentle mix of goodness but i think if anything like cheese fans would have a problem where are the superstars you're you're not gonna get superstars like like honestly though queer miners kind of a stud he's kind of a superstar all right we're gonna switch to my board for the last bit here camera find them's not a good scheme fit so for hoko it's fun but joshua kandow made it down here Huh. Jonathan Adams would be a good contested catch guy, potentially. It's just he's got some scary drops. Okay. Ch I like I like Her Heron a, a ton. He can play tackle as well. Like he started a tackle and guard for BYU. And I mean, we've only grabbed one tackle, so a guy with that type of versatility helps out. Um, all right. So 
And I'm not gonna lie, I really like the idea of Jonathan having a nice contested catch guy. Potential contested catch guy. Alright, man. I mean, we got Deami Brown too, but... So, I mean, you would think you shouldn't double dip at receiver, but it's late in the draft. I'm just kind of trying to take value. So, let's see what we got out of this. Samuel, they got they traded up for Samuel Cosme. We got Merrig. We got Brown. I already think it's a steal after that. And then these two picks, man. Jonathan Adams and Heron, I think, are really good picks. Uh, let's take a look at ours for the draft. So, we ended up coming out with 10 picks just trading down. Merrick is steal. I don't know why the draft simulator hates him. Excuse me. Even when I'm switching between um, both boards, he doesn't come off early. That's I just don't get that. This is Quinn and Miners, remember. So we got our potential guard slash center. Carmen will be. I think you can immediately start him at left tackle. Uh, you got Lucas Naina at the other spot. It's just your whole offensive line is going to be for the most part unproven. Um. If you're not comfortable starting Quinn and Miners off the bat at center, there is we did get Trey Hill later in the draft. Uh, Jack Anderson, he's some depth there uh, at guard. Uh, Deami Brown, bit of a luxury pick, but boy, he might have the most pretty vertical route tree you'll see from anybody. Got uh, Wild Goose, just some depth at corner. And then uh, Patrick Johnson. Nice athletic edge player. So I think this is a good draft. Call me crazy. I think it's a good draft. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And that's it for the video. Go ahead. Do that YouTube thing. It's always much appreciated. Much obliged. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.